Thank you all for joining me and welcome back to the infected so today we are going to be working on kind of starting to get power uh, i want to test out the fishing rod as well and the lure uh, obviously we need the lure for the fishing rod and just see how that goes uh, also as you could see on our noise value we are getting close to another attack actually two attacks with the noise and stuff like that um, i think uh, yeah and i've actually made some normal rations uh, i've just had one this morning and we've got one more left i'll probably be able to make another one soon uh, we also got one of the half ones, uh, but obviously these are going to be a lot better because you're getting 0.25 for each stat, although I think I wish that was a bit higher, but it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, we've got all that sorted. Now I do need to make sure, uh, as we can see, we've just got one box full of ore. Now we have actually got enough of um, aluminium to actually make what we need. We do need a little bit more lead. I, I think we're going to need some more copper as well. Uh, so we're going to get, uh, how many ores is there? One, two... Three, four. Uh, there's more than that in there. I can't, can't remember. Three, four. Yeah, I think the four or five with steel, I think that's right. Uh, actually, the best way to check uh, is if we go to storage lock and you can see this. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, we stick six with steel, which we will do eventually. So one, two, three. Yeah, I forgot the I forgot the iron didn't. <laughs> So basically we need five. Uh, I'm not doing those storage things yet, but what we're gonna do, um, yeah, we're gonna work on the power, obviously. So we'll sort that out now. I'm, I need to get this attack out of the way first. So we're gonna start that up. I think we've actually got almost enough for one. Uh, we've almost got enough for one. Hold on a minute, not there. So we've literally got eight there. So this 10 here that we've got, these are gonna be cooked up and we should get the, well, we will have enough for everything that we need. Uh, I might just start getting the nails that we need for that. Uh, so we've got four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, and then once this attack's over with and done, uh, we can actually start, where are you going? Oh yeah, you're going, oh. <laughs> Sometimes he drops things down here, but he's not doing the stone at the minute, so yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so we're getting close to the attack. I think what I'm gonna do, oh no, I want those to carry on though. Uh, so they do seem to come in the same area. There we go. So we're about to do an attack now. They seem to come from the same direction. So in fact, I can't get down there now, can I? Yeah, this is a problem. I just realized something. So they usually come from this direction. So let's see what happens now. Um, I might get another uh, brick, uh, brick furnace going. I don't think I'm going to have as many as I usually have because of the light and noise value. It's just you know uh, i, I kind of like the night like the the actual not the the noise and light value in a way because uh you can actually plan it out if you don't want to attack yet you can stop working on something and just carry on on something else and uh yeah and then you can just uh control it yourself kind of thing now i have uh, there is an actual chance of two mini bosses coming with um their minions uh, I, you can actually disable that if you want to in the settings. Uh, I haven't, so I'm going to see how this goes. Uh, <laughs> see what happens. Because obviously, he's actually made it tougher. Plus, he's actually nerfed the actual uh, fence as well. They're coming from different directions, look. Right, okay. Right, he's going that way. Bit of a tight squeeze there. They're not attacking. Where's it going? Damn it. What's up there? Alright, those have died. Okay, I'll get from that. I've got some... Where are you going? Oh, I need to sort this out real quick. Oh, oh they even gave me enough uh, bandages to actually fix myself up. That's very kind of them. There we go. I think that's it. It looks like that's it. I mean, that wasn't too bad at all. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, let's see what kind of damage they've done. Oh, 
Oh, well, oh, he's fixing it up straight away, so that's fine. He's probably already fixed that up. Anyway, so we've got that out of the way, so we can continue actually doing what we're doing. Uh, so I can actually sort out the extractors and stuff like that. Okay, so we've actually got these now. So I'm just going to grab these and put these in there. We've actually got 18 there now. So we can carry on on the fragments. Uh, I don't want those. We'll get rid of those. Um, yeah, let's sort these out. So... Okay, so let's drop those in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. And um, we'll put those in there. Okay, and we'll drop these in here. Yeah, so that, that, I don't know whether there was... I didn't really notice. It's the way they, they don't exactly come charging at you, do they? It's kind of weird how it works now. Uh, so I'm sure that's purposely done that way. So you're just not... Com they just don't go into one area and you're just stabbing them. Uh, so... Right, let's, uh, what I'm going to need to do, in fact, I'm actually going to get rid of that and that. I'm just going to put this in there and we're going to actually get a fishing rod sorted out. So if we, uh, where do I need, where do I make the fishing rod? Uh, we make that on the player or on, oh, we can actually make it on the player. All right, okay, that's fine. So we'll do that and craft that up. Uh, we're also going to need the lure, so I'm assuming you can do that on the actual player as well. I've actually, I think I've got enough for two. So fish bait, right, it's a fish bait. Um, can we craft it on the player? Oh, yeah, okay, so we've got that. Craft, that. Oh, we've only got enough for one. Oh, it gives you five anyway. Okay, that's fine. I thought, that's why I was going to do an extra one. Never mind. Uh, so we've got that now, which is here. Uh, does it give you how to actually do it? Um, not really. I will certainly test that out shortly. Okay, and eventually we will have a separate thing for these actual um, things, but for now, we'll have a separate sand thing for it. Uh, but for now, we'll just leave it as it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So at the moment, he's filling up the logs. I think once he's filled all that up, I'm going to get him back onto the stone because we do need a lot of iron. We definitely need a lot of iron. In fact, I'm probably going to need to get some planks sorted out as well. Uh, okay, so we've put those in there. Let's go and have a quick look at how this is going to work uh, now that we've got it and to see whether we can get enough fish from this. I've got to work it out of how to actually use it like, of course. So now the thing is though, is there fish in every body of water? That's what I want to know. So I want to find a deep area-ish. This looks deep here. Okay. Let's try this out real quick. Because I've got to get back to the actual uh, grinding of the iron. I started to it's starting to look good. I mean, we still got that top bit to do there on there. Uh, and the sort of like uh, barrier that we're going to put at the side there. I think he's finished with that now, those logs, it looks like. I can put those logs just through on the floor uh, in there. So let's have a look at this. So it, I wish it told you what you have to use it. So if we right click, nothing. And that's it. Okay. So what do we do now? Oh, we got it. Oh, that was easy enough. And we got a fish. So we got one fish there. So you just sort of left click to do it and then you right click once you can. There we go. That's, a, yeah, that's actually easy enough. That's actually a lot quicker and a lot easier than I thought. Okay. Nice. So as soon as you get that red hook, uh, you right click. Got it. Whew, that was close. So this is a good way of just chilling out, getting a load of fish, and then you can use it for whatever. So how many lure? So you get one fish per lure. Okay. So I'm glad that you actually get multiple lures uh, for each one. Uh, so you're getting five. So making a load of those would be good. So but I'm going to leave that for now. I'm probably going to do that off screen uh, just to actually fill up and get some bite. Oh, crap. You made me jump. Um, biofuel and stuff like that. So 
Yeah, and then eventually when we get a kitchen and that, we'll sort it out. It looks, it look, they actually look nice when they're dried up, when they're all dry and stuff like that, on the drying rack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just making sure we keep this topped up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then we drop those in there. Go and we drop these in here. Nice. So we've got four lots in there. Uh, I think for now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the fishing rod here because we're going to have to go and get some lead anyway. So I'm just going to drop that in there and put that there. Uh, eventually, I'll get a, just a crate where we actually put the layers in. I'm just thinking this is <laughs> this is kind of like a uh, thing that we're just using for now, just to kind of shove things in. In fact, I think I need to go and check the animals real quick before we go. Oh do anything else I just remembered so let's go and check those out uh, I think they're okay it's just food wise yeah we're occupied we've got now got another chick uh, so we've got female male female female so I'm just gonna leave that for now we do need to get another goat uh, we need to get a male goat uh, so we will do that let's just get this all this food sorted out for him there we go Oh, I need to replace one of the melons in there because I accidentally uh, harvested it. Although we're not really using the melons much at the minute. Especially if we can actually get um, uh, rations, then I don't see the point in it. But yeah, I might have a little test on the actual different food that we've got now. Yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. Right. Okay. So, do you know what? I was that. Uh, do you know what I think would be best for this? I know it's more building and that and more building. We, we, maybe we should have a chicken pen and then a barn for the goats. I think that would be better, actually, uh, than just having one. Because then we can actually fit more chickens in there. Because at the moment, we're going to get five. Although, we're doing pretty well. I mean, it's every hour. Uh, hunger. Oh, that's the hunger. Yeah, I wonder why that popped up. I thought it was hungry then. I was going to say. Yeah, I'm just fed you. Right, okay, so let's just quickly check on the brick furnaces because I don't really want to keep those going. Let's just grab a load because just for quickness. Because uh, obviously I don't want to keep these going too long. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Unless we've actually got stuff coming out of it. So we'll grab all this. So yeah, not too bad so far with the actual attacks. Um, I mean, I don't think there was too it didn't look like there was two there of the uh, mini bosses, but you never know. Sometimes I don't always pay attention when I should. See, now we've got the shit, we've got the crap ones here. Cause we've got, got the blue, uh, the blue gills, which actually give you just what the, you just get one fish from that, as you can see there. And then we've got the trout, which uh, gives you two. Uh, there is another one, I can't remember which one it is, but that gives you three. Uh, the other one gives you three. I don't know if he's adding any more fish. I don't think so, but uh, you never know. So we can chuck that in there uh, to leave that to sort itself out. Okay, so I do need some planks. Uh, we need eight planks. So I'm going to go... Oh, no. Not this. It's over here now, isn't it? Yeah, it's over here now. So let's go and grab some planks. We need eight planks for this. I've got some biofuel already on me. Looks like we've got enough there. And then we can start working on the power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got enough for another one there. Uh, yeah, let's just stick. Let's just stick those in there. Well, this is multiple here. That's weird. Okay, so hopefully that won't trigger an attack. Although that that the the, the light and the noise is not balanced at all. Um. That was my first attack. Well, no, I haven't even uh, maxed out the noise volume since I've been here. It's always been um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's actually finished now, so we'll leave it at that then. Uh, so it's always I've done it. It's been mainly the light value, so I do think it's not quite balanced with the noise and the light value. Uh, so we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten. I might as well just keep this going until this is out of fuel. Okay, oops. 
Right, I think we've got everything now. We just need to get the iron. So we should be able to carry that. And we're going to go and take that over there now. Uh, I need to sort out... Oh, crap. We're going to get an attack. God, that's going up fast now. Hold on a minute. I've got to be careful of that value. I don't want to get attacked while I'm not here. Oh, it's on its last log. There we go, done. Right. Whew. Right, so let's go over to the actual cave then and get the first one done. So we've got we've got everything we need there to get the next one done. I might even move this one over. I'm not sure yet. But I might move that one over just so we can get all the ore that, that we need. Uh, oh, I just thought maybe I should uh, bring a... Um, Kind of gone the wrong way here, never mind. Um, yeah, I might bring that iron one over, but to be honest with you, we need those iron ores coming in. Uh, obviously for steel and stuff like that, especially if we're going to be doing glass and stuff, so we do need that. And if I do end up going with the other fence, then obviously I would like to fully upgrade it, which would be... Uh, for, uh, well, eventually we'll need the cement anyway, so once we've got the cement... Where's the cave? It's over here, isn't it? Uh, once we've got this uh, once we've got enough power to actually be able to produce cement then we can actually upgrade it to that and then you can upgrade it again uh, with the steel and I believe it's four steel per so yeah quite a lot uh, so we can actually just put those in now and can now we can actually choose what we want but it takes 10 minutes rather than five I'd rather have it at five although we are gonna need the copper so yeah right let's just power that on. Um, and let's get another one going. Place a ball over. Okay, stick all that in there. Okay, we'll split one and we'll put that in there and power that on. Now the thing is though, I would I think it's best to keep it like this. But the only like I say, you're gonna get random. That's the only problem. Um, but. The only thing I don't like about it is you're getting stone as well. So it's a, these are all, everything here is random. Uh, so it's basically what, like 33% chance of uh, whichever ore is dropping, including stone. Uh, so if you extract a stone only, and then it's actually gonna be one minute. But would that be the same on here? Cause it's in a cave, let's have a look. No, it's done, yeah, so that's fine. Uh, but these, obviously, if we go for copper, cause we're gonna need quite a lot of copper, that's gonna be 10 minutes. But if it also extracts stone, that means it's gonna be 10 minutes for one stone. I'm gonna leave that on copper for now, cause we do need copper at the moment, uh, more than anything else. I think I've got enough iron for everything. Uh, I'm not sure about copper. We are also gonna need some lead as well. So I'm gonna quickly grab that. Oh, I didn't put me, oh, I have put my pickaxe on, oh good. Uh, so we are gonna need some uh, lead. And we've got some iron there, nice. Uh, might as well get some mushrooms while I'm here. So yeah, so uh, the uh, copper's a big part in what we need for, I'm gonna get some coal as well. Uh, copper is um, something we're gonna need a lot of when it comes to power, which makes sense. Uh, so there's quite a few nodes in here. Wow, okay. So we'll just wait until we're full, I think. I don't usually pick up the clay, but I will for now, because we haven't gotten a clay soil extractor yet, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we just got three of those, haven't we? Yeah, so I might as well pick up some more of these. And some mushrooms. Eventually I'm just gonna get a chest full of mushrooms, because we do need a lot of mushrooms. Although, we're not too far from a cave anyway, so it's not really that big of a deal. Especially as... What was that? I heard an echo of some sort. I don't know if it was because of me mining. Uh, how much have we lead we got there? I think we need about 20 lead in total. Because uh, what we're going to do, we're going to get a battery. A solar battery first. Uh, then we'll actually get the... Uh, one. We'll get one solar panel, one... Um, one wind turbine. Because I want to see how it all works, obviously. Uh, to see... You know how much power we're going to get and stuff obviously 
But uh, yeah, that, that'll be enough anyway for now. So we can head back. Okay, I think I've actually got everything we need. We're going to need screws as well, like. But uh, what I've done, we've got a battery here. Yeah, we're going to have probably a room for batteries eventually and store loads of batteries. But for now, just for the first one, it's here. Obviously, we are not going to be getting the oil pump, uh, the oil extractor just yet. But we will be eventually. It's just to get a start, get the stuff going, and then we'll start getting more materials. And then eventually, we'll get the oil extractor. Okay, so I've actually got some stuff for this. Not much like, but uh, we've got some stuff for this as well. I think I've got it all right. Anyway, uh, I'm going to grab that aluminium actually because I just dropped some off in here. Um, I uh, won't get this battery sorted out. So we've got... Oh, I need I need one more copper actually. I just remembered. Right, I'm going to go on quickly. Oh, well, I, I might just hold off on that. We can actually get that done afterwards. Um, yeah, I've got aluminium there. One, two, three, four. Nine. Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. There we go. I'll just drop that in there for now, just so I can actually get this done. Uh, aluminium, I've already done in there. Okay, so let's go and sort this one out then while we're waiting for that cobalt. And uh, yeah, not too bad. Like I said, we're just going to have one of each and then I can just see how this goes. Okay, so we've got the ten in there. Oh, we needed five in there, so I've got more than what we need. Uh, so we still need iron in there, which we have got. Uh, so I'm going to grab the, uh, well, iron and cobalt. And, yeah, iron and cobalt. So we'll go and grab that, which we have got. I've done all the aluminium then. Yeah, I must have made more than I thought. Never mind. Oops. Uh... Not to worry, we could just put that in here. I was hoping to try, I was trying to make just the right amount, obviously. But, <laughs> yeah, that's not worked out the way I thought. I miscalculated. Uh, so we've got that there. I'm just going to switch that off for now. Because uh, we've got to go and get some more copper. So that's cobalt. So we've, is that the only cobalt we need? And then we've got the copper there. And the iron here. So I'm going to grab as much as the iron uh, as I can. Okay, let's uh, see if we can finish this one off. Oh, electrical parts on that one. And we just, we still need the four copper on that one. Okay, and we just need the screws on that. I might as well grab the screws now, because uh, we've got some screws here. And I might as well grab five of these. Let's get that battery sorted out. Well, actually, we still need the copper in that one, don't we? Okay, so that's that sorted. Obviously, we've got no power coming in yet. Power panel, it's obviously going down. So, yeah, wind turbines. Oh, it actually shows you the wind at the moment. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, which I expected, to be honest with you. Uh, have we actually got any copper at all? Yeah, we have. I'm just going to grab this. And we'll stick that in there. There we go. So now we have a battery capacity of 1,000. I think it's just slightly over 1,000, actually. Um, so it's coming up to night time as well, so that's uh, not great when it comes to the solar panel. And there we go. We've actually got our first wind turbine sorted. Uh, we just need the one copper, like I say. Uh, let's have a look at uh, I think someone said it the max, because it used to be 20. It used to be 20 for the actual wind turbine. Um, I'm sure someone said it was actually max of 25 now. Uh, but power wind turbine, I suppose it depends. Uh, it's not like set now. It all depends on the actual wind, of, of course. And as you can see, we're actually storing power now, which is good. And yeah, power capacity. I was going to say it's like usually just over 1,000. So it's 1,002. So obviously we're going to need a lot of our batteries. <clears throat> now, I, I'll have to look back at my last series because I did actually work out the power. Uh, but that was only with solar panels of how much power we need uh, to store to actually be able to actually run efficiently uh, the stuff that we're actually going to be running uh, so we just need one copper then so I'm going to go quickly grab that uh, now when I was uh, talking about the extractor um, I don't think it pulls out stone I think it's just literally copper because obviously you can have ones for just stone so yeah so I thought that maybe it's going to take 10 minutes and sometimes we're just going to get a, um, a stone 
but I don't think that's the case because you've got the options for stone as well on there. Not that you really need that in there, like, but uh, yeah. Right, so we're just going to come up here and see if we've got any copper. And I think, honestly, I've, to be honest with you, I think I might leave it at that because we are going to need a hell of a lot of copper, especially with all the wiring. Although we have got quite a lot of wiring and we can go looting for that if we need to. Uh, but we will get to a point where we don't need to do that because we're going to have enough resources to do it. There's the cave. It's here, isn't it? There it is. Okay, so let's go and check on this then. Yeah, my stamina is really bad at the minute. It's because it's coming up to night time and I don't really want to use that um, thing. Uh, we'll grab that anyway. Let's see if we've got another copper in there. Yeah, we're just getting copper. Complete copper. That's it. That's awesome. Uh, so I don't know whether uh, the benefits to it being every 10 minutes is worth it or not. Um, or having it every five minutes and having it random because you're going to need all ores anyway. So I'm not sure about that. But uh, At the moment, I, I suppose it's good if there's just one ore that you need. Uh so you could put one of them just on uh, the actual ore that you want, just to sort of like, well, it won't speed up the process, but it just guarantee you to actually get the ore that you need. So that's probably a good thing, to be honest with you. So yeah, we'll probably use that. Like I'm gonna use the copper at the moment, because that's one thing we're probably really short on. So I'm gonna have to cock up this one, uh, <laughs> this one copper just to finish this off, and then we can call it here. Uh, let's see. Is that the, the good thing is though i mean the solar panel doesn't work i mean before when i was testing it out on the last playthrough uh with the solar panels you you got a maximum of 40 power from the solar panels um at night time you got zero of course so you had to make sure you had enough storage in there to sort that out and uh yeah i just we just put it on for the one that's a bit of a waste but it is what it is um and then uh, during a storm and stuff like that, it would only be half the power. Uh, so let's see how much that's going to take to fill up. I mean, at the moment, we're getting... Actually, with the wind's gone up at the moment. We're at 12.3. So we're actually getting 17.6. Uh, so that's close to what it used to be with the 20 power. So, yeah. So I do like this idea. It really does change the way you, um, you sort of like uh, have to do things in the game. So we're just waiting on this now. Um, how much iron fragments have we got? I've got to work on that. Uh, so, yeah. Now, the attack that we had, it, honestly, it didn't. It worked out pretty well, to be fair. It really did. Uh, so, I'm going to wait until we've got enough melons, and then I'm going to make some more of these rations, because we're actually at the stage where we can make these rations now, which is awesome. And, yeah, my guy is tired and stuff. Now, these, look, these do actually... Uh, these do actually spoil lot they are going down uh i know they never used to but they do uh, since last when i played last season uh you take it they'll look like they've not spoiled unless you check it and then once you take it off they'll suddenly be spoiled me in your actual um thing so yeah so they do spoil they never used to because he had some issues with a bug of where you couldn't actually take it off because it spoiled so i think that's the solution he's come up with right okay so we've got that copper now so I'm just going to put that out for now, but I am going to have to work on that iron and get as much iron as I can. Uh, are we getting on with this, with the iron and stuff? I mean, we've got some fragments there, which is good. So I'm just going to stick those in there right now. Okay, so let's finish this off then. Obviously, we're not going to see much of a power thing, but I will check that out next time. Um, but I want to get it done anyway. So we'll stick that in there. And that's it. We've got, well, At least we've got some power coming in. Uh, we need to add to that, obviously, with the wind turbine. We'll probably get another solar panel, another wind turbine, and probably another battery. And then I'll store, and then I'll put out, and then I'll set up the oil extractor and stuff. In fact, I know we're going to need uh, electrical parts for that, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the oil extractor. Uh, oh, no, it's not. It's um, mechanical parts, but it's only six, and then 15 aluminium. And that requires uh, 100 power. Now, does it actually tell you now? Because uh, it used to say 20 on it. Amount of power generated depends on wind strength. Yeah, so it doesn't, yeah, it all depends on the wind strength, which makes sense. That generates 40 power at its peak output. 
Uh, so that's actually the same as what it was before, but that there is no peak output, it all depends on the wind. So, like I say, oh, I mean, we've got that's gone up a little bit, and we're now at 18, so I'll have to see how far that goes. But then, when we, tomorrow morning, we will start filling that battery up, uh, and hopefully, I'm gonna wait until I get, get a second battery and uh, get a, one wind turbine and one solar panel and then i'm going to set out the uh, oil extractor because that's definitely the first one i want to actually set up anyway guys i am going to call it here thank you so much for joining me if you enjoyed the content don't forget to like subscribe and click that rusty bell to be informed of future videos and with that take care guys and i will see you in the next video